I'd like to welcome everybody this morning, as well as those who are online. God bless you. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, and it's good to be connected. I know we have seven people connected with us online. And for those online, it's Communion Sunday, so please have some communion elements, and that can be water, wine, grape juice, some bread, a cracker, whatever. Uh, we just pray that whatever you have, that God will turn it into His most precious body and blood. It's good to be announced to the Lord, and it's good to be connected this morning. Uh, our announcements, we have a Zoom mission committee meeting scheduled for two Mondays from now, November the 9th at 7 p.m. Our Good Neighbor Outreach is meeting with... St. Vincent de Paul and also Calvary Church uh, in a special meeting this morning, uh, the, um, Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock in our parlor. It's wonderful in the Lord that we are doing, uh, that we are doing things together and, uh, and, and seeking to uh, be together to help the homeless. Uh, we uh, have a men's class meeting, meeting this Thursday, 6 a.m., our Wednesday Bible study this week. We've been doing the book of Proverbs. That's finished. This Wednesday night, we're just going to do a special Bible study on uh, all, all saints and remembering those who have gone before us and how we are connected to them. You don't want to miss this Bible study this Wednesday night at 7 again on Zoom. Amen, amen. Uh, also, there, uh, there's a flyer. I just found out about this a couple of days ago after our bulletin. There's a veterans breakfast, 8.30 a.m. this Saturday at Bethany Lutheran Church. It's outside, physically distanced, all veterans. Bethany Lutheran Church, they want to honor you when you're having a special breakfast for you. This Saturday at 8 at 8.30 a.m. Amen, amen. Um, other announcements? Okay. Can I come there? Sure. I forgot to turn that light down. Okay. Sorry. Please. God bless you. My granddaughter's not here, so. Um, as we know, this Tuesday is uh, key to our nation. And if you haven't already voted, make sure you do. But the Capitol District has um, a special prayer list that um, they're asking us to, Jim and I are on the Capitol District prayer team, but they're asking us to take a 15-minute block of time during Tuesday to pray for our nation during the election. And there's a lot of empty spots on there, so I'm going to send John the link to that so you can actually go on and you can sign up, if you choose, to pray for our election for 15 minutes slot during the day. Because there's a lot of spaces empty. And we really need a praying nation for this election that is happening on Tuesday. So um, I'll make sure John has it so when he sends out the uh, link with today's services and everything. And if you don't get that and you would like to... Um, be a part of that initiative, call me or send me an email and I'll make sure you get the link so you can sign up for a 15 minute block for prayer. Thank you. I felt a very increasingly strong leaning of the Holy Spirit. Our church sign says this, please pray for the United States of America. And if I had the ability, I would have underlined, underlined united. A lot of this nonsense has just got to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And by the way, whoever you're voting for, you're not voting for a Messiah. Amen. We have a Messiah. Amen. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So help us. Help us. Lord. Please pray for the United States of America. Amen. Help us, Lord. And uh, yeah, there, there's this special sign up for prayer. Amen. Other announcements? Anybody else? 
Okay, and we're going to shift the prayer concerns. Uh, Kim Lewis Pete, continuing recovery from surgeon, surgery. Helen Verna is at Cooper Hospital. Continuing to pray for the family of 22 year old Mitchell Drissel, tragic loss of life. The family of Bill Reason, former district superintendent. The service was online yesterday. The family of Carol Ringwald. Dick Gaming, continuing prayers. Um, all who have COVID 19. Um, uh, let's see, special prayers for our, our, our son Aaron and uh, his dear friend Irene. And pretty sure that they have it. But they're getting through it by the, with God's grace, continuing prayers. John and Shirley Ferris, uh, and continues to recover from her knee replacement. Naomi Horn at home. Uh, Shirley and Joe Reichter. Uh, Mike Willett, continuing prayers. Uh, Pat and Joe Peach. Pat had a fall last night, went into the Lord's Hospital. Her, um, she had uh, x-rays or Brain is okay, but she has a fracture in her wrist. So Joe's not with us this morning, just by the phone. We need to keep Pat Peach in our prayers. Barry Davies continuing prayers. Uh, Peggy Ray Reeves, Sweet and Rich. Russ and Archie. Mike O'Neill continues recovery at home. Tom Gershon and Grace, both on hospice at home for our nation. For the Church of Jesus Christ and Asbury United Methodist Church, our Good Neighbor Outreach, and extremely serious yet unspoken needs. Help us, Lord. We need His help. It's coming for the Lord. It's also All Saints Day. We remember those who, from their labors, rest. Remember those uh, from our church in this past year who went to be with the Lord: Norman Broden, Arthur Ellie. Also, Albina May Gersky. It's coming to the Lord in an attitude of prayer. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for those who from their labors rest. And Lord, we ask for a connection with you today. Help us to follow you. If anyone here has never accepted you as their Savior and Lord, may today be that day. For those of us who have already made that decision, may we be new in you and live the life that you're calling us to live. Your word says, that come that you may have life 
inhabit the body. God, your word says, what? let not mercy and truth, let not mercy and truth forsake you. Your word says that grace and truth comes through you, Jesus. So Lord, we claim your mercy, we claim your grace, without which we cannot survive. But Lord, we also thank you for your truth. Help us, Lord, to grow in your truth and in your way. It's in your name we pray. Help us to pay attention this morning to your word. For Lord, you're, you're going to give us a key this morning. A key to being connected to you. A key to being on the king's highway. Not on the devil's detour. We ask this in your name. Lord, be with us. Again, those watching online, those who will be watching later online. We ask your special blessing. While all others that are calling, do not pass us by. Lord, we're going to pray when we pray the Lord's Prayer right before our communion on earth as it is in heaven. We ask in your name that that would be here, even in this church, on earth as it is in heaven. And for those watching this morning, those here, if anybody, if you feel you just need a special touch from God, a body, mind, spirit, or relationship, and you just lift your hand right now. I'm lifting my hand. And Lord, we thank you. More than anything else, we pray for your favor, your guidance, and your goodness. It's in your name we pray. For every name we mentioned, every situation that has been lifted up, out loud and silently in our hearts. We pray your healing mercies. We love you and we need you. Again, for every name mentioned out loud and in our hearts, we pray your goodness and loving kindness. And on this communion Sunday, Lord, connect us to the new life you want us to live, bought by your body and blood. So many things we need to pray for, Lord. We pray your protection from COVID-19, Lord. I, I pray the first three verses of Psalm 16. I say to me for everyone listening. Protect me, O Lord, and, and beyond even those who are listening. Protect me, O Lord, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones in the land, they are the noble in whom is all my delight. Lord, for those on the front line, help us to be your holy ones in the land. The other side of the church sign this week says, as I have loved you, you should love one another. The words of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for our nation. And as we pray for our nation, we also pray for the church of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as we're going to gather in our parlor on Tuesday at 10, it's Pentecostal, it's Roman Catholic, it's United Methodist. Help us just to follow you, Lord. In your name we I've come that you may have life and have it abundantly. You will perfect the things which concern us. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, the Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Help us to pay attention to you. It's in your name we pray. All God's people said. Amen. Amen. Hey, I want to lift up. We received a special gift from Epworth United Methodist Church of $512 towards our good neighbor outreach to the homeless. We also, our special offering today is for food for the needy. I want to tell you, that takes many shapes and sizes in our church. Sometimes it's giving somebody a food card for Walmart or a food card for Wawa, for just you know, something quick to get in their stomach. It's also a $150 check that's going out today to a, a 
just some good people, they make sandwiches for the homeless. It's our support of the Bread of Life food pantry. We're all in this together. And we want to be a part of God's goodness. A special thank you to our online givers. A special thank you to our givers who are here. A special thank you to our givers who send it in. Keep those cards and letters coming in. We appreciate it. Amen. And uh, may we worship God with our giving. 